Wolf has pretty strong enough attacks that just set him too far to be able to fare, fare back to ledge. I mean, this is one of those matchups where, like, on paper, Wolf should be winning this, but I feel like in practice, no, this feels like an even matchup. Uh, well, it primarily will depend on how the two players just interact with each other. That's for sure. All right, double jumping out of the up air. Oh, he was looking for the, the tech chase and almost found it, but not quite. Oh, the back air did not come. <laughs> that was interesting. He kind of floated up with that <laughs> cross toss. Oh. And again, trying to get back to center stage right that there, but you know, K9 was really ready for that. I like what K9's doing. He's just throwing him, going for the fourth throw, and be like, okay, I know you're going to tech it. So which way are you going to tech and trying to react to that instead of the, the non tech in place? I feel like K9's definitely respecting when he can go in and out. Ooh, that was oh, unfortunate. Yeah. That was that was a pretty good play, although I feel like uh, it would have been way better for him to have just wolf fancy the full uh, wolf flash uh -huh. as opposed to up specially. I mean, I mean, I feel like he should have been able to recover, but I guess he misspaced it because he hit Richter. I guess it, 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 it was well, good. It was a good idea. <laughs> well, well, up special kind of kind of bad, <laughs> objectively speaking. Okay, we got the dash attack though. Give him Babut, and he's now off the stage, back to center. And there's the punish on the dash attack, but he manages to break that uh, pressure with the quick up B out of shield. Oh yeah. Now you just see Richter just throwing up his walls, and you know, it's up to K9 to like have an answer for it. Yeah, this stage pick, I don't know if it's really helping with these uh, uh, ugh, holy waters. Because it looks like he's trying to set it up, so if K9 approaches, he's got to deal with it, but the platform just catching it. I mean, when you throw it on the platform like that, it also prevents K9 from uh, approaching with a short hop like Nair or Fair, so. True. I feel like a character like Wolf, though, especially from that range versus uh, the Belmont player, he probably wants to approach on the ground because he's not gonna, it's gonna be harder to get swat or swatted. Excuse me. Well, the down tilt. Oh, just barely grabbing ledge again though. Now we just see Belmont. Now he's just looking for this one aerial that's gonna kill Wolf at this point. With but the safe down air, resetting yeah. his position. Oh, unsafe dash attack, but you know what? K9 kind of just lets him go for free. These two, k doing a really good job just staying directly outside of the spacing. Right. You can tell that like neither player really wants to hard commit to something, but you know, Richter with the longer range pretty much forces Wolf to you know, pick an option at one point or another. Oh, Nitro just missed time that by a second. <laughs> oh boy, okay. Dash for it to respectable option. Okay. Holy water bouncing off shield, not playing much other than the protection. But he that's boot one more time. Alright, and we are back to an even game. Well at the rate this game is going, Nitro's ahead. As he's been he's been taking the stocks first. So K9's okay, gonna have to find a way to close the gap a bit sooner. I mean, at this point, you know, Wolf kind of needs to get in, but he's a little bit, like, very linear with his approach options. So as long as Richter kind of mixes up, like, how he's going to throw up his shop, you know, you know, Wolf should not be able to get in. Interesting up air option, but it didn't really matter. K9 kind of just sat there expecting another back air or something. Ooh, okay, throw the laser. Nair. He's on the ledge. Okay, no roll. And you just see Richter just, you know, throwing out all these four tilts. You know, gets the fair off stage. You're trying to get the axe. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. no, that was a scary commitment. Oh, okay. uh, that could have been so bad for Nitro right there. But good thing on him, he didn't roll. Didn't give K9 what he was looking for. K9 getting the standing grab. Probably tried to dash grab, I'd imagine. Unless he expected a roll in. But I feel like he tried to dash grab. Ooh, I like that, you know, every time he kind of went for that second hit of the down tilt, but he know that if he were to go for it again, you know, K9 would basically get a free dash attack, and that, that person, that would kill. What? <laughs> down tilt one into dash grab? What? 
Oh, he's... Oh, oh that was a quick roll from K9 yeah. just to barely avoid the axe. Poor punish, though, with the grab. He should have done anything else, really. I mean, probably, like, up tilt oh, maybe, but, no. like, that he back died. in... Yeah. He died for that. Dang, man. I mean, you know, like, the grab wasn't a bad option, you know, because it meant that, like, you couldn't shield afterwards. Still, he could have up tilted. That might it, have done something. It, it would have definitely killed, but at the same time, <laughs> it's... the it's, would have been the smarter option. It, 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 it's a risk versus reward, because, I mean, the up tilt would not beat out the shield. So it's... That's it's, fair. That's fair. So if he had up tilted, then, like, he would have gone up beat, and that might have killed him, too. So it's going with the safe guaranteed option versus the high risk, you know, killing game winning set, you know? Right. Well, let's see what happens here. I mean, that game was very close, both players, but Nitro kept taking each stock first. So we're going to have to see how K9 adjusts to make sure that doesn't happen anymore. You know, and like Nitro is just throwing out all these hitboxes and, you know, K9 is just struggling to get in. Here gets the fair to the nair, and then, oh, he read the double jump in, tried going for an up air, but did not find it. Reads the up air again, but not going to be able to get it, but gets the air dodge back on the stage. Ooh, yeah, that was really good. Great awareness from Nitro there. Yeah, I definitely needs to figure out how to slow, slow this man a bit. Oh, okay. That was a nice neutral air dodge for him. Trying to just fair him across the stage. Yeah, Nitro, Nitro just likes running away with those aerials, but it's so difficult for you to really like do anything about it. Especially since Laser doesn't come out nearly as fast as it used to. You can't really pressure it as well. I mean, even if he does throw it out, you know, the cross goes through it, and so you're going to probably eat more damage from the cross than Richter is going to eat from the Laser. And then for positioning, too. Ah, uh, but the sour spot, I imagine. Ooh, gets a nice punish off the parry. Oh no. Nitro. Yeah, good back throw, not gonna be enough, but like hits it on the edge guard, he snipes him with the veil button. <laughs> you know what, he gets he gets a tether on back. K9 could have done any option and he chose to short hop air dodge to avoid that axe. <laughs> Talk about living risky. Oh, he lost the stock again first. We'll have to see how long. Oh, never mind. You know what? Forget about it. Forget about that. <laughs> now, we're, now we're even again. I mean, that's kind of the syndrome where, like, I have a stock lead, and you know, I'm playing a little bit, you know, a little bit more risky. So, you know, it's, oh. it's one of those things where, like, Wolf was just like, uh, if you let up your defenses for even a second, I'll sneak in a back air and kill you for it. A little late now, but great awareness about that bouncing holy water, which forced Nitro into shield. Boy, <laughs> great awareness again from K9, knowing that he's gonna throw that axe in his way. Ooh, good nair to grab, and there's the. Oh, I, I like what uh, Nitro did there. He recognized I like. Okay, he's probably gonna throw up a smash attack. Let me just go do a, get a attack to beat it out. That's the second time he's chosen that option in that situation. So we'll see if K9 adapts to that or if Nitro decides to do something differently next time they're in that situation. The forward throw off stage. Okay, he rolled that time, but K9 wasn't in the prime position to try to pressure with the down smash again. Ooh, I like that. You know, mixing up his recovery there, you know, makes it harder for Wolf to predict when he's going to get back to stage. And, you know, the K9 finally having a stock lead. Yeah, that dash attack, wake up. Good morning. How are you doing? That was a good landing punish, though. I definitely didn't expect it. Ooh, the Nair just barely missed. Oh, you know, now, like, Nitro's on the, the struggle to find this kill. Yeah, I mean, K9 with a lead. He still needs to... Oh, excuse me. Still needing to figure out how to get the damage between avoiding all of these... All these attacks. Oh, but you know, K9 just barely getting clipped by that holy water. So you know, Nitro recognizing that, like, okay, you you gave me the stock free, thank you. <laughs> but Got that nice little fair in there, down tilt. Oh, that could have been such a big punish, but you know, Nitro just barely getting his shield up in time. Oh, didn't get that down air punish. 
just sliding underneath that blaster, but going for the hard down smash read and not going to be able to find its mark. Probably expected a uh, directional air dodge downward. Oh, oh, down tilt says, I don't care about that F smash, buddy. As long as you don't throw it out before I hit you, you know. Yeah, okay, he rolled the second time in that situation. Oh, you you know, Nitro wanted to throw up that up air, but he's like, oh, he's going to air dodge. Let me wave it out. And he waved it out and just didn't pull the trigger after he got uh, it in the up smash. Oh, yeah. call out. Yep. Great call out. Yeah, recognizing in that situation. <laughs> Well, unfortunately, Nitro also rolled inward, which made it much easier for K9, but recognized, all right, well, my win condition is now here. Yeah. Are we going to see a stage swap? I didn't see much reason for K9 to want to switch stages, but maybe Nitro's going to go for something a bit more yeah. harder to avoid. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, those platforms definitely make it harder for K9 to air dodge a few things. Right. 100%. And you can also like hide underneath the, the platforms in order to set up shop a little bit easier, you know? Yeah, but now we're at the Great C with the Menu Select Remix also part of that. Yeah, it gets the quick down tail, but you know what? Not enough percent, so K9's going to get a punish off of it. Uh, no, he can't even get anything out of that because the platform blocked him from doing anything off of it. Ooh. Uh, Nitro definitely playing a bit more aggressive to start here. Probably trying to mix up his game plan to throw K9 off of it. It's kind of like mixing that offense versus defense like mentality. Indeed. Ooh. Uh, with the up angle, probably expecting another jump. Interesting not opting to catch the cross, but I guess it disappeared like almost immediately after he uh-oh. Yeah, he's fine. I mean, Tether Tether is pretty good for Richter, at least in terms of distance. Oh, man, can I miss space that by an inch, but it's okay. Oh, Nitro. but that was such a greedy uppy, though, and he's going to get punished for it with death. Yeah. Oh. Oh, you know, K9 wanted the reset right there. Probably into, like, a fair, into, like, multiple fairs. Back throw, okay. You haven't seen... Crazy amount of max usage on ledge for him, but I imagine that's primarily because. Like, I mean, Axe is one of those moves that like it's slow and laggy, but like it forces a get up option from your opponent. Indeed. Oh, cross point blank. Okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> Another point point <laughs> cross, <again>. but. <laughs> well, I mean, I guess he expected him to drop shield for some reason. Cool. Okay, now he's cornered. Okay, I'm doing a much better, much better time this game. I'm not sure if that's because Nitro's altering his playstyle kind of makes it easier for him to pick hits a bit more. I mean, part of the reason is because Battlefield, at least in terms of like horizontal distance of the, the stage, like it's one of the smaller swans in the rule set. So it's a lot less space for Nitro to run around with, and, you know, K9 can just get in a little bit easier because, you no know, Nitro has nowhere else to escape to. Fair. Wait, uh. Oh, I like that mix-up, you know, but, I mean, a mix-up is not going to help you save you from that up smash. K9 waiting for a shield drop. Got a shield grab instead. Uh, uh, Nitro waited just a second later. Could have been scary. Gets all these up airs and yet again run up four tail up B not gonna be enough. Not on this stage at least. Yeah. Oh, another up air. Maybe miss input. Ooh, the canine waiting for that landing there now. Uh. Yet again, not gonna be able to find the edge guard. Oh, but sneaks underneath that bullet. And gets the cross, cross and dip. Oh, he, he was trying to read the high recovery with the up air, but not gonna be able to find it yet again. Both players are at super high percentage. Now any hit will kill them, and there we go. Nitro takes the stock finally. Yeah, F tilt, good move, relatively quick, despite what Sakurai may tell you. <laughs> Ooh, jeez. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Yeah, we did that for that one. I Nitro mean, really likes to land what, with a dare when he's yeah. really high up. I mean, what would kill a reflected projectile or this stinky foot? 
Well, the, the boot is definitely, it's spiked, so it's probably oh, stronger. Yeah. It's got a little pointy stuff on it. Okay, he's cornered. Probably like dipped in poison or something. Just be like, yeah, you're you're extra dying if I hit you with this move. K9 not opting to act aggressively upstage, the off stage, and I agree with that, especially as Wolf, despite having the lead. Oh boy. Oh, Ooh, but unfortunately, just gonna like zoom out of that dash attack range, gets the grab and a down throw. Uh oh. Uh, I feel like he lasered again. Uh, he, he did it that time. He was like, nah, I'm a... What? Oh, try to get the, the down tilt one into re-grab, but no, K9 learning from the first time that happened to him, though, they're like, okay, if you don't go through with it, I'll spot dodge. And K9 probably expected a, uh, a roll again, which is why he turned around up tilted. But Nitro mixed it off. Oh, he rolled again, though. <laughs> yeah. I'm afraid the next time he gets on stage. Oh boy. Get the parry. Yet again. Ooh, that crouch is barely clinking with that dash attack. And then here's. No, he mashes it out before he can get the back throw out. Hey. Ooh, reads the jump from ledge. The axe almost killing. One time K9 didn't air dodge immediately after jumping, too. Uh oh, he did it twice. Oh, there you <laughs> go. Both, both players are like super scared to go in that air to air. Oh, oh my goodness. goodness. Oh, I feel like. Eh. Oh my no, god. Okay. You know. Oh, there was. This is a big spaghetti moment. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh does he have a jump? Yeah, he has a jump. All it's right. Fine. Oh, but he rolled again. Rolled again. Yet again, you know, K9 is just struggling to find this like one last grab. And, you know, same thing with Nitro, but here it okay, is. Yeah. That should be it. Yeah, Nitro, he kept doing down tilt one. Yep. I. Like I understand that, you know, you want to be, you want to mix it up as much as possible. But sometimes, like, he was doing down tilt one the entire set. Yeah. He did down tilt two like at the very beginning, and I don't think he ever did it ever again. Yeah. Like once he realized that, like, okay, if I do down tilt two, like Wolf was just gonna dash attack and kill me for it. You know, he kind of oh. stopped doing it. But like you said, eventually, if you go for it enough times, you know, players will pick up on your habits and learn to punish it accordingly. I feel like Canine expected just the first hit that time. We're going back to PS2. I guess the stage pick. Maybe, maybe real. Maybe he thought like you know this isn't working out as well for me. He was definitely playing at a much higher deficit that game than he was the previous ones. So K9 up 2-1. He gets this. He'll be waiting in grand finals. Ooh, gets a quick down air into Nair, but not going to be able to find much else off of that. Gets the up B and unfortunately misses. And I liked what K9 was doing right there. He tried to bait out the, the spot dodge. Unfortunately, pulling the trigger a little bit too soon, but gets the punish on that down air. Indeed. Oh, oh no, K9. no, K9, not like that. Yeah, the stage pick uh, helped Nitro this time. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, K9 definitely act aggressively off stage. The one time he really, like, did it, he died for it. So, you know, maybe he'll just continue on doing it after that moment. Ooh, Ooh. but reads the tech roll away and gets the down smash for it, you he, know. He knew the moment he got... Wow, that was funny. He just ran ran up and did it. He knew. There's the up B, and yet again, K9 just keeps on punishing all these options. Down tilting off to... Down tilting out of that situation. Getting... Corner carried. Go down tilt too. Helping him out. Yeah, this stage definitely, like as you said, the wide whiteness definitely assists, especially with the cross, since the layering is well, yeah, nice conversion. The, the the way the stage is layered definitely just benefits the way the cross uh, moves around much more. And again, you know that that SD from earlier is really costing K9 the. The, the game right here because you can see that now that Nitro has the lead, he's playing a lot more defensively, and you know, K9 is just running into a lot more of these moves than he did normally in the first few games. Well, as in game two, you know, Nitro was taking every stock first, like he was in game one, and then eventually he figured out, well, I, I know how to kill first now. Right. <laughs> so it doesn't matter that he's still at this 70% deficit, he can still take this game pretty easily. 
As long as I don't die before my opponent, it doesn't matter what percent I'm at, you know? Exactly. And, you know, 30%, 50% deficit. <laughs> well, I mean, that's the interesting thing about Smash Bros. Now, you can theoretically live to 999% if you're completely godlike. But oh, oh no. The, the, the first time I've seen Nitro punish that air dodge. Ooh, but he gets that jump raid from ledge, and he will take with that back air. All right, well, K9 did SD that first stock, but it definitely helped Nitro a lot. Despite the game still coming close. Right. And you now know. we are going to game five. You know, this, this is a very even matchup, you know. Now we're back at PS2 one more time. All right, we'll just have to see if K9 can get that SD off his mind and then just play like it's another game. Okay, starting with aggressive fair. Oh, okay, using that up throw to negate whatever that cross is going to do to him. Oh, good punish. Yeah. Cross a little too high. Yeah, he's just smothering. No, he, he was just smothering Nitro, and now it's a bit more back to the face of neutral. But, ooh, I like that. You know, when you down air out of uh, hit stun, like sometimes like you'll get that floating down air. So he used that to kind of like stall his landing and then just come back in with a mare to catch K9 off guard right there. Double jumping. Probably expected a bear or something. Okay. Yeah, I like these angles that K9's kind of approaching from where he's going directly diagonal. Because because uh, the Belmonts can't really do anything other than up special, and that's a really, really hard commitment. Uh, so. Yeah, because it's all about keeping them walled out with that fair from. And even like the up angle, the down angle ones, like it still only yeah. goes so far. It's like maybe like a 15 degree angle or something like there, that. There it was again. <laughs> oh. Short hop. Oh, he's in shield pressure. Oh, but oh. It, he ran into it. Doesn't matter. He's now got him at off stage and. We'll just let him get back up. I mean, after after that last game, I wouldn't go off stage either. Whoa! Oh. Catches the air dodge, and then, oh, he tried catching the air dodge back on the stage, but... That air dodge definitely seemed pretty late. So I, I was scared he was going to get hit by it anyways. I barely missed that upward angle aerial. Whoa. Ooh, didn't quite get the F. Oh, but okay. Yeah, that up B will be punished by K9. And Nitro probably expecting an aggressive option. Wanted the stock first that time. Not getting it this game. It definitely looks like that. Nitro's having kind of a hard time. Oh, <laughs> I liked how because K9 fared him, he was able to launch Nitro onto that platform so that he could get the forward tilt confirmed. Yeah, it looks like that K9 Spare also just like broke the bottle at the same time. And he just rose into the heavens about F tilted. Oh, oh no, he oh. saw his jump, yeah. I mean that's a key thing when you're playing the Belmont is that like your your jump is your godsend for getting back on the stage. If you lose that you're dead. Okay, big brain play. Uh, okay. Oh. Uh, opting for laser instead of reflector in that situation. And yet again, Nitro is just trying to push his aggression a little bit too hard, and you know, K9 just sitting back in shield, just waiting for Nitro to overcommit to something. Yeah, this entire game, I feel like <laughs> it's really just been Nitro like walking away and back airing a lot. <laughs> there it is again. Oh, oh, he air dodged. Oh, but okay, he got he saves a little flash. Ooh, and unfortunately, he spaces the the holy water just perfectly so he hits them below the ledge, and he's gonna get a true combo into that. Oh boy. Oh no, he tried he tried to do an up smash out of that. Oh, oh he's dead. Oh yeah. I don't care about the cross. My foot's bigger than it. <laughs> you, you, your puny cross, not gonna, not gonna save you this time. Yeah, I did, did not interrupt that attack at all. 
Now we are at last stock, last set, game that, five. That shield looking relatively small. Oh, finally one of those up B connects and it gets the, the Holy Water, but not going to be able to confirm off of it yet again. It's really hard for Richter to confirm when you get hit by the aerial uh, Holy Water. Okay, okay, good, good setup. Oh, the dash grab though. I uh, should have waited just a little bit longer. Wait to see what the landing option was. Uh-oh, uh -oh, he got the, the... I'm trying to back air, but I got fair instead because I was moving forward. Yeah. Uh oh oh Oh, that was rather... That was rather close. Ooh, got a Nair probably instead of a back air. Okay, landing with the... Landing with the dares. Getting a bit too antsy, I feel. Oh, he wanted to end the game right there, but unfortunately, he oh cannot get the eye just perfectly to avoid that. Oh Here comes my. the axe and the cross. Oh no, he didn't air dodge at all. He just landed. Okay. Oh. All right. Yeah, the cross was not spaced perfectly to just punish the neutral get up perfectly. Oh, and he gets the tech oh. chase, and he finds it and manages to sneak in that down smash for the game. You're good. Really good. Look at Rory. Really good roll read. Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, that could have gone either way, really. I mean, in that situation, if you tech in place, you're going to get down smash. If you tech roll away, you're getting down smash. If you tech roll in, you're getting down smash. <laughs> there was, was nothing you could do in that situation. As 